Sometimes it's good to hold on to old things. Um, uh, when I was a boy growing up outside of Glasgow, uh, we were big into biking. Uh, back in those days, there were four of us on the same cycling team, and we'd have what we call a drum up. Um, we'd be out on our bikes, way out on Sunday morning, Aberfoyle, wherever, and we'd say, OK, we're going to drum up here. Um, drum up is you stop. You go into the woods, you get dry wood, and you build a big fire on the road. And you take your billy can and whatever sandwiches you have, and we'd sit around the fire. We'd stay there all day, even in the road at night, telling stories, kicking a ball around. Hey, I left Scotland when I was 23, looking for adventure. In uh, Glasgow, I got a job in this department store, and I watched the sign painters there. I loved watching them, so... When I got to Canada, that's what I knew, and I found myself here. Um, uh, there's a casual style here we use at AIDS, which is kind of a slash, you know. It's not, it's not a finished letter. I call it a slash. You're slashing it out, and each individual has his own, you know, idiosyncrasies or style. Um, there's two of us here at AIDS, and most people can't distinguish between our signs, but I can. I can walk through the store and point them out. <laughs> um, I did that one. <laughs> and that one. <laughs> and I can't really describe it in words, but I know the way I shadow, uh, the way I put a few stars here and there to personalize it, and a certain shape of the brush stroke. I know, uh, but really, <laughs> I'm a bit of a dinosaur. <laughs> uh, sign painting is basically dead. Nowadays, someone comes in with their digital file, and it's just, you know, bingo bango. It, it used to be someone would come in with a bit of artwork and we'd have to project that piece of artwork on an ice cream truck or a billboard or whatever he wanted. The payoff was so much greater. But it was time consuming. <laughs> you know, Ed understood that, keeping certain traditions alive. And I used to see him coming in every morning in his black overcoat and black fedora, even if there was nothing for him to do. He'd come in every morning in his black overcoat and black fedora. I, I still get together with my old riding buddies. In fact, I'll be riding with them tomorrow. We usually start first thing at uh, this little bakery near the zoo. Oh, we have a coffee. Sometimes we talk about the news, but most of the times we just sit there quietly, not saying much of anything. <laughs> then we start riding our bikes, usually head down to Rouge Valley. Sometimes we take the gravel ro roads. Certain views on some mornings really remind me of back home. This, the gravel underneath our tires, sand more than gravel, really. There's no traffic. Maybe a farmer's car every hour. And we drum up because sometimes it's good to hold on to old things. 